Okay, you can go turn it off now. Yeah. Thank you. you. Go check it. Make sure it's off. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go help make pig food? This pig feed recipe that we just mixed up is not my original recipe. There's a channel called Shrimp Tales on YouTube that I got this recipe from. It's 50 pounds of corn. He uses cracked corn. I've got the grinder, so I just kind of pulverize it into grits or meal, basically. And it's 50 pounds of corn, uh, 12 pounds of soybean meal, and one pound, 10 ounces of minerals. We just made a double batch, that's about 126 or so pounds of uh, hog feed. Go ahead. Seems to be really good food because they're growing pretty fast and they're healthy and happy. They're just about to the point where they need two bowls out here though. Enough of that, it's time to get to the whole point of this video. This tree that you see behind me here has got to go. This tree is a water oak, and if it was anywhere else on the place, I really wouldn't have too much of a problem with it, but it's in the middle of my Christmas tree patch, and that means it's shading out a lot of the Christmas trees. Besides that, it's got its fair share of issues. Several years ago, a storm knocked off one of the really, really large limbs on it, so it's got a pretty bad, nasty, open-looking spot right here, and possibly even some heart rot. We're gonna open it up and see what it looks like. But but this is going to be a little bit tricky because there are a lot of Christmas trees up under this tree that I would rather not see destroyed. Now naturally there's going to be some collateral damage here just because this tree is right over a lot of these Christmas trees. But my plan here is to just kind of start taking limbs down and get as many of the small limbs off as I possibly can before I cut the whole thing down. And that way I hope to avoid too much destruction on my Christmas trees. This is right next to a road but we don't have any power lines to deal with. The tree's not tall enough. That it might go into the road the only trouble that we're going to have is the christmas trees and the winds blowing but i think it's going to be these are famous last words but i don't think it's going to be that big of a deal
What's up? Did you come to visit? Yeah. Yeah, did you get some trucks to honk at you? Yeah. Good. Two. Two of them. I'm also getting some pretty decent firewood out of this tree. This is water oak, like I said earlier, so it doesn't burn quite as good as white oak or red oak, but it will burn hot, won't burn for quite as long, and it'll leave a lot more ash than white oak does. It doesn't burn quite as efficiently, but it's oak and it will give us some decent firewood. At this point, I've got these two main branches left, and I don't know that the camera does them a lot of justice. They're pretty big. The one on the right is much, much larger than the one on the left, and they're both really too big for this pole saw that I'm using. But the, the this type of wood is pretty good as far as if you just weaken it a little bit, the limb just tends to kind of fall down fairly slowly. And uh, that's kind of what I've been doing on some of these is just weakening the top putting a little cut in it and letting gravity do the rest so i think what i'm going to do is try that with this left one and then i'll think about it with this right one right here i'm honestly really nervous about going into this going into this trunk right here if y'all can see this right here it is not looking so good and i don't know how deep that goes and i know the camera's not doing this much justice but this is this is really wide i mean i think that's probably 25 or so inches across maybe upwards to 30 it's a lot <laughs> I 
I stopped doing that because I realized I was setting myself up for failure. The bar was not nearly long enough to go through that limb, so all it was going to do was cut out a little notch, weaken the limb, and when I went to cut the tree down, who knows where it was going to go because I would have had no way to safely get the limb down before I cut the tree down, and it would have not been great. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is the last thing I can do, is that, and that's go ahead and cut this tree down, and I'm really nervous about what's in that trunk. This is a pretty bad wedge. I'm gonna flatten it out on the bottom here and get some of that junk out of there, but it is showing me that the heart is solid. So that gives me a lot more confidence in what I'm doing here. I worked for a little while and got that wedge cleaned up, but I wanna show y'all something before I go ahead and make the back cut. I feel like if I don't show this, I'm gonna have a lot of comments asking me, but the reason that I'm falling this toward the trees, which is directly the place that I don't wanna fall it, is because it's leaning. This limb, this main limb right here is a very large limb and it's just hanging out that direction. The other limb that broke off was kind of hanging in the other direction and that one over there isn't doing me any favors either. So really the only choice I've got is to bring it down right over there and just take the collateral damage. I could put a rope on it or something and try to pull it the other way, but it's leaning so bad that unless I had like a bulldozer or an excavator or something, I, I don't think, I think it's pretty much hopeless. You want me to show you how the drone works? Yeah. Sure, I can show you that. Did you watch the tree come down from mommy's car? I did. Yeah, was that fun? Might have gotten a little too aggressive on this wedge. That's pretty deep. Thankfully, it had a ton of weight leaning it that direction, so that's really the only way it could have gone. So I'm looking at some of the collateral damage here, and it's not looking too bad. There is, of course, some of them have gotten hit with the, with the tree, of course, and I knew that was gonna happen, but a lot of them have not. I mean, this tree right here is totally fine, and it looks like a lot of them just kind of wove in between these limbs here. 
So let's go ahead and start getting some of this out. And some of those trees out here were gonna have to be culled out anyway because the bases were getting too big for Christmas tree stands. So hopefully it destroyed some of those. At this point, if y'all remember one of those clips I showed earlier, saw, showed the forks of this tree. One of them went off to the left this way and this other one, the biggest one, went off this direction. And at this point, I've got this left one cleared out and it's time to start working on this one. My thought was to go ahead and chop that limb right there up, that fork up, but I'm afraid that once I do that, the rest of this is gonna twist over and uh, possibly damage more trees. And in terms of some of the damage on these Christmas trees, this one right here is definitely destroyed, but it's no great loss. Look at, look at how high I am right here. This is about neck height on me. And the trunk of this tree is, uh, it's, it's really way too big to be a Christmas tree next year. The base would probably fit down into a uh, Christmas tree base, but the rest of it is just too old and it was probably would have been a coal this year. This one on the other hand is definitely a bummer. It might fill back in, maybe, I really am not sure, but this one was a very nice sized tree. It had the potential with more sunlight now that that tree is gone to fill in into something pretty nice, but I'm not so sure it's gonna, not so sure it's gonna do that. In case anybody was wondering, this is the area where most folks purchase their trees from this last year where I've been stacking that, that firewood over there. It's basically just a big hole. I guess these were the nicest trees last year. We sold, I believe about 25 Christmas trees last year, which I thought was great. My hope this year is to get these nice and trimmed up and hopefully sell more next year. I'm just about there. I wanted to show you all this tree right here. This is a decent tree. This one could very easily be ready to go this year, but look at how this tree landed around it. You got that branch, these branches, all these branches, and this one tree in the middle. I don't think anything on it got broken either. That's great.
Well guys, the chain on my chainsaw has had enough and so have I. Let's go look at the damage. So here's the view of everything from on top of the stump here. See, we got all of the branches and leaves and all of that junk out of here. And really this is what's left right here. This, the trunk right here and these main branches that go out. And you see, I was actually able to cut up quite a few of these right here into firewood length pieces but the chain on the saw is gonna need some help because it's getting pretty dull and uh i'm about ready for some supper so this is actually the second day i've been working on this i worked on this yesterday afternoon i've been working on it a few hours this afternoon as well so six eight hours six seven hours somewhere along in there of course there is some damage to some of these trees this tree is damaged pretty bad but it this one is fine it was a coal anyway showed you this one earlier that's a coal too this one looks like it got knocked around a little bit but it will probably be okay that one is not a call and when i say call i mean trees that i was needing to get rid of this year anyway and plant new ones because they were just too big this is a small one this one was not going to be a call but it is now i don't think this one is going to recover from the damage that it took that one of course is destroyed this one looks like it took a little bit of damage it might be okay though this one took a ton of damage but it was going to be a call anyway it looks like i'm really happy at the way that this turned out i did not hit very many of these trees and the ones that really got messed up a lot of those were slated to be gone anyway so this one is this one's looking good that one's looking good right there and well this one looks like it took a little bit of damage but it may fill back in we'll just see and it really looks a whole lot better out here as far as the sunshine goes of course several years ago when i first planted these trees i kind of foolishly planted a lot of these trees up under this giant oak tree which was really not a good idea i should have either cut the tree down then or put, planted the trees elsewhere but this is kind of the way that it turned out and as it is my christmas tree patch i think has been greatly improved by getting rid of this huge shade tree that was on top of everything plus i got a lot of firewood out of this as well there's this main trunk of the tree and there's two other smaller piles of well they're not that small actually but piles of limbs that can also be used as firewood i guess you can say that i just got mixed results results on this of course i did destroy some trees that might have been able i might have been able to sell this year and that's kind of a bummer but i opened up this canopy right here got all this shade out of here and i think this is going to really improve things out here plus i got a lot of firewood so that's uh, that's going to help us out a whole lot next winter as well but that's going to do it for this one uh, i really appreciate y'all watching stay tuned I'm right next to a highway in case y'all hadn't noticed. I'm getting tons of road noise. And besides that, my good microphone bit the dust. I'm gonna have to send it off or something. So sorry about all the audio issues on this video. Uh, hopefully the barn build will be up in a few days here, maybe within the next week, week and a half, going over tomorrow, possibly to finish it up. And I should be able to edit that together and have something posted. That's gonna be a really exciting project. So I will see y'all on the next one and thank y'all for watching.